Hi there everyone and welcome back to another a very exciting chess game from 1990 this time from the Reykjavik Open chess tournament. Reykjavik is the capital city of Iceland of course. So we have Helgi Olafsson with the white pieces and his opponent was Jonathan Levitt. So let me introduce these chess players. Uh, Helgi Olafsson was six times Icelandic chess champion. Chess Grandmaster, a very strong chess player, and Jonathan uh, Levitt uh, is also a chess grandmaster and also chess author and chess problem composer at the same time. So uh, this is a must see, a very beautiful, a, a notable attacking chess game. So let's see what happens in this game. I think you will enjoy this chess game. And also, don't just watch, but try to guess some of the key moves in this chess game because we have so many different beautiful amazing tactics in this chess game so let's see what happened this is the english opening c4 knight to f6 knight to c3 and let's skip the opening part we have bishop to b7 but of course uh, knight to e5 would be a very sad move for black uh, black would be very sad if black would play something like h6 then knight to e5 uh, that would be very unfortunate for black so bishop to b7 <laughs> and then castling bishop to e7 and d4 knight to e4 exchanging the pieces bishop to f4 and castling d takes on c5 b takes on c5 and queen to d2 developing the queen and then rook over and now i see bishop takes knight and then queen takes on d7 so defending with the rook and then queen to e3 attacking the bishop and defending and then bishop to d6 and now fixing to the pawn so exchanging and it looks like black has a cramped position so capturing the pawn and attacking the rook and black is a pawn up but white has the activity so white played rook from a to d1 and attacking the bishop and also defending the rook so we have queen to b7 and this is the key moment, one of the key moments of this chess game. So Helgi Olafsson played an incredible move in this position. His move was absolutely a breathtaking move. Now this is uh, probably, uh, this is going to be one of the most difficult moves to find uh, in this chess game. So uh, if you want you can also pause the video and try to guess the next move of white. What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? But of course, if you want, you can also pause the video and try to guess the next move of Helgi Olafsson, the six times chess champion of Iceland. Okay, so he played this incredible move. Rook takes on e6, what a move, what a shot, incredible, absolutely amazing. And the sacrifice is accepted, the rook sacrifice, uh, which came out of the blue, of course. I mean, rook takes on e6, if d takes on e6, then rook takes, rook checkmate. Uh, so there is also a back rank problem, of course. So rook takes on e6 and we have f takes on e6 and now what was the idea of Helgi Olafsson now this move is a little bit more obvious but uh, if I ask you what would you do in this position can you guess the next move of Helgi Olafsson uh, if you want you can pause the video of course so let me give you three seconds to pause the video if you need or if you just want to enjoy the chess game you don't have to pause the video of course so one two and three he played knight to g5 sacrificing the bishop as well and did you see the idea well levitt saw the idea and he played h6 if accepting the sacrifice then now <laughs> let me ask you one a final time uh, or maybe i'm going to ask a few more questions but again in this position can you see the next move of white what was the idea of white boom this is the idea queen takes on e6 and if capturing the queen checkmate and if king to f8 checkmate uh, which is extremely obvious and if king to h8 there is smothered checkmate there is no defense check double check 
sacrificing to queen check and then boom checkmate amazing isn't it so what a game already an immortal chess game already we have eight six but simply chopping the bishop off and now white is threatening uh, white is threatening knight to f6 and uh, that is going to be check and winning the queen so we have knight to c6 and simply capturing the pawn defending the queen and now boom knight takes on d7 what a move we have rook over uh, but if capturing then queen takes and this is forking the king and the rook so what else rook to f7 and then boom bishop takes and i think this position is completely losing for black uh, white has three extra pawns black has the exchange but the rook is pinned so i see rook to d7 i see bishop to d5 it's all over this position is unplayable for black so a horrible position also you can see that this is attacking the rook so uh, it's all over even if you offer to exchange the queens so okay not capturing we have rook over and then queen takes on e6 uh, king moves and activating the bishop bishop to e4 now queen to g6 is possible and then checkmating the king so knight to e7 and then rook to d6 so maybe in this position if capturing the knight then you can see that rook to e8 uh, which is going to be a skewer so rook to d6 queen takes pawn capturing the knight uh, desperate moves checking the king and then rook to e8 it looks like this is the skewer that i was talking about so Olafsson played queen to f7 rook takes on e4 o Olafsson played the move and levitt resigned rook to g6 and there is no sensible defense against queen takes on g7 check mate what an incredible amazing chess game so let's check out a few continuations uh, let's see if black can defend that uh, there is no sensible defense in this position but let's check out if queen to c3 then can you see white's next move how should white play a uh, white has a very strong move in this position that wins on the spot okay knight to f6 a very beautiful interposing move you can capture the knight uh, with the queen because of a uh, rook takes queen and then check so we have let's say queen to c7 and white plays a very strong move again okay rook takes on g7 and how to defend rook to h7 checkmate so queen takes on f7 rook takes on f7 and there is no defense against rook to h7 checkmate amazing so there is no defense the king is stuck absolutely beautiful so after rook to g6 black resigned and let's check out what happens if rook to g8 then we still have this knight to f6 move this pesky knight is a pain in the neck so attacking the rook uh, queen takes rook checkmate and if capturing the knight checkmate obviously and if i believe if going back with the queen white has this move check only move and then getting checkmated so what a game what a game uh, i hope that you have seen some of the key moves in this chess game uh, so you can see that tactics is in the house in this chess game and this was one of the immortal chess games of the six times chess champion of iceland helgi olafsson from 1990 reykjavik open so thanks again for watching and i hope to see you next time take care and bye bye